So my best friend keeps telling me to try dating married men because of the money and luxury. My boyfriend is currently unemployed and he asks me for money sometimes. It's becoming annoying. There's this married man always worrying me. Should I try it? Keep me anonymous, please. Oh, sister, try it. Try it. <laughs> I try it. Because, you know, your boyfriend, he doesn't have money. Now, I don't get some of these guys, so. Now, just say you are, you don't have money. Why do you want a girlfriend? <laughs> that, that to the married man comes with so many pecs. Just say, um, he has money, that's why he's married. He'll be taking care of you, he'll be, you know, giving you gifts and stuff. They know how to treat women well. Your boyfriend will be taking money from you. And if you also don't have money, what do you do? So take money from the married man and come and give it to your boyfriend. And I don't know, because if he's broke, he has no right to even be with a girlfriend. <laughs> I like to it. You can follow me and also message me with all your counseling needs. And I'll definitely give you the best advice you can ever get. Young Kwok. Hi, Headless. I'm, I'm in Big Yawa. I was one dating two girls at the same time. Later, they find out about it and tell me to choose one. And I, I did. But the problem is I still love the one that I left. And she loves me too. She is ready to be with me secretly. So please, advise me. Akwe wedi loto. This is the best thing that can happen to you. You were secretly dating two of them. They found out. They came to tell you, say, choose one. You chose one. But the other one no, is now willing to be with you secretly. Take it. <laughs> this is the best deal any man can ask for. So now, no, it is no longer a secret between you and this secret lover, no, because she knows that you have a girl and she is willing to be with you so you can enjoy everything you want to enjoy. This is the best share. On Sunday, go to church and go and get special offering, right? Hi, <laughs> 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 right, counselor. Um, please, I need your advice. My girlfriend is cheating on me with a guy whom I know, but whenever I ask her, she denies. We had sex for the past two months and she came in last week addressing me that she is pregnant for two months. And I also encountered a message on her phone with that same guy saying you are really sweet. The message was, about, was also sent two months ago. What should I do? Ah, now I don't, I don't understand though. The fact that somebody has sent somebody a message Say you are you are dang, you are really sweet. That doesn't mean they had sex. Why can't you guys just trust your girlfriends for once? These ladies have not done anything wrong. Huh? Your girlfriend hasn't done anything wrong. It is you. You think she's cheating, but she's not cheating. She loves you so much. The guy bought something for her and she's just giving him a compliment by saying you are really sweet. <laughs> I this is not any cheating matter. This lady loves you. She will never cheat on you. Uh, you have been having sex for two months and okay, she's pregnant. But she has never done anything with the other guy. It's all in your head, okay? Now, women don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a comment somewhere. Someone was saying, say, um, Counselor Headless is always supporting the women. Yes, I have to support the women. If somebody doesn't talk for the women, who? <laughs> <laughs> Aye, so yes, it's all in your head, why? So accept the pregnancy, take care of the woman. She's not cheating on you. You're just thinking about it and thinking, reading meanings into the messages. She, when, when, uh, when someone does something nice for a lady, she replies by saying you are really sweet. It's not sexually related. You're in twasso. Hi, Counselor Headless. My husband cheated on several occasions. His family and my family are aware. I got fed up and also cheated with my ex. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was caught by him. That is the mistake. 
Why should you allow yourself to be caught? Why should you allow yourself to be caught? Yen Faso. Uh, Medwehe. Okay, caught by him. He doesn't want to forgive me. He even wants to send me to my family. Why should only women suffer when it comes to cheating? This is the question I also want to know. Why should women only suffer or why should only women suffer when it comes to cheating? You cheated on her. Severally. Your family knows. Her family knows. But because of small cheating that she went to do, yeah? <laughs> hey, on him, I don't mind him. Don't mind him, okay? If he wants to leave you, let him leave you. I'll tell you, yeah? <laughs> cheating or your husband keeps cheating and you keep telling him to stop and he doesn't stop everybody has an ex it's a very good thing you did to cheat on, on him with your ex oh clap for yourself ah, <laughs> <laughs> I, this is a very good thing you did continue doing it anytime he cheats on you you need to cheat on him with your ex you're in trouble. okay so this is the last message before we get into the last message you know these are my social media handles send me a message whenever you need relationship advice and I'll give you the best advice in the world. But always remember that you take my advice at your own risk. Yen Tuasu, now the last message. Boss, I mistakenly went through my woman's phone and A. How do you mistakenly go through somebody's phone? <laughs> the, the, if you are providing the details now, provide it well. How do you mistakenly go through somebody's phone? Huh? Yen Tuasu. I mistakenly went through my woman's phone and saw her chat with her mother. According to the chat, my girlfriend is just using me to hold body so she meets someone rich enough to marry her. And her mom knows this. Hey! <laughs> so, I pound fufu in their house every Wednesday and Sunday. Okay. <laughs> hey! So... Simple dating, you guys have taken it to the next level, sir. You are pounding fufu for your mother-in-law. Hey, hey, you are not even married to her. You are pounding fufu Wednesday and Sunday. Ah, I help them do manly stuff in the house since her dad is dead and her senior brother left, uh, left home uh, years ago. Left home years ago. I'm so heartbroken. How do I handle this? Please help. Anon. Okay, so you need the best uh, advice you can get on this one. First of all, you are doing a big mistake by, you know, doing all this manly stuff in her house when you guys are not married. You are going to pound fufu on Wednesdays and Sundays. Hey, brother. <laughs> <laughs> now, yes, it's obvious that her mom, since it's a chat between her and her mom, no, it means her mom also knows about this. Let's just say, oh dear. Yeah, you, you are some Yakubu in their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now, the best thing to do right now no, is to psych yourself. Because no matter what, this is what they think about you. So, um, it's either you make money to become very rich for them to, you know, know that, oh, this guy has money enough to uh, take care of my daughter. Or, uh, yes, it's either that. Or you just psych your mind now and be, you know, doing the regular stuff. Go and pound for food on Wednesday and Sunday and eat. And also, you know, do the, the boyfriend things that I've been doing. No? But in your mind, you are single. <laughs> I be doing everything normal, but in your mind, you are single. In this case, no. Um, whenever she decides to break up with you, it won't pay you because you broke up with her like years ago. Years ago. <laughs> so that's the best thing to do now. Just, you know, go ahead with the normal routine. Go and pound for food. Be having sex, be doing whatever you want to do. But in your mind, you are single. You are just doing this for benefits. You are pounding fufu because you want to eat fufu. You are having sex with her for enjoyment. There's nothing emotional. Think about that. And take my advice at your own risk. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know, watch other episodes of Counselor Headless on the channel. Yes. And also subscribe if you haven't. Share this video. Like this video. Yadeh. Yapong.